Guma Town had a population of about 300 people. Their king had this habit of moving about with an outrageous amount of bodyguards and an entourage. Yeah, he does. If you found a party with many bodyguards and aides standing and watching like there was a criminal scene and cars of different colors, then you would know the king was there. Like we identified the presence of the king with his bodyguards and cars of different colors, the presence of an oxidizing agent can be detected by using reagents like acidified potassium iodide with starch, iron 2 chloride solution, sulfur oxide with acidified barium chalcium nitrate 5 solution. An oxidizing agent would turn acidified potassium iodide to reddish brown coloration and iodide is liberated. The iodine reacts with the starch and reddish brown turns dark blue. An oxidizing agent also turns iron 2 chloride solution from its green color to reddish brown of iron 3 iron. Wow, that's enlightening. Today, we have learned that the presence of an oxidizing agent can be detected using any of the following reagents. Acidified potassium iodide with starch, sulfur 4 oxides with acidified barium trioxonitrate 5 solution, iron 2 chloride solution, hydrogen sulfide gas, etc. An oxidizing agent turns iron 2 chloride solution from its green color to reddish brown. Reacting an oxidizing agent with hydrogen sulfide would yield yellow deposits of sulfur. An oxidizing agent would turn acidified potassium iodide to reddish brown coloration and iodine is liberated. The iodine reacts with the starch and reddish brown turns dark blue. An oxidizing agent plus sulfur dioxide plus dilute nitric acid plus Barium trioxonitrate 5 acid will lead to the formation of white precipitate of insoluble barium sulfates. Common oxidizing agents are concentrated HNO3, H2SO4, KMNO4, K2Cr207, oxygen, etc. I'm sure you enjoyed today's lesson. See you in the next one.